I hope you, everyone at home is also excited to see them in action. It's going to be a good game. Mammoths, are you ready? Yeah. Olympians, Pitches. are you ready? Yeah. Nice and loud from Olympians oh. too. Ready? Oh, oh. oh that false start wasn't cold and that was very lucky. Olympians come away with the volleyball uh, and control. They are really working for it. So Anna Ogara on the volleyball, trying to look around and see um, Mammoth's marking out possible passing options, but Olympians seem to have a little bit more space on Mammoth's currently, and they're just passing it around between them, and they're looking for that opening for the goal. Mike Hansel being very commanding of, like, you know, helping players decide where to go, just really helping them out. But Olympians have lost the volleyball, um, and it is in the hands of Mammoth's. Um, Mikey Anzel storming through people, taking massive contact, and he's still going. That ball's flown over towards Hoots. It's in the hands of Ash. Um, Olympians still come away with uh, dodgeball control. They do not want to let that go. Mama's putting in tremendous work here. This, like I said at the start, this is going to be a good game. A good game indeed. And the boys pass over to Ash. Tom Andreo is, has lost the dodgeball. Dodgeball is with AJ though, so hopefully AJ can make some moves, clear some space, and hopefully get something back for Mammoth. Lovely beat on the Olympians' chaser at the back of the hoops. Mammoth's beat is doing a really good job to shut down that Olympians' offence. And now they're walking it up, having to think about what they might want to do. Ball is with Adam Paulson. Lovely box formation, pass to Scott Suri, and that is a goal, I believe. A confirmed goal to Mammoths. Olympians counter, but it's no good. It seems there's some disruption on the field. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not head contact, right? It was head contact. Um, one nil to uh, All right, you've gone sub. All right, good. Um, Tom Andreo is uh, coming off, taking an injury sub, and is being replaced by, I believe that is Rachel, exact? I can't see, I'm going to zoom in with my camera. Yeah, that is Rachel exact. <laughs> you were exactly right. I am exactly right. That was terrible. That, yeah. that is terrible, is it? Uh, is it? That was offensive. Um, so, Mammoth with the volleyball and um, also with control. There we go. Mammoth are uh, making something work here. They've got the advantage on the attack. You always do when you have control. But doesn't mean that the team without control can't make some wonderful surprises. And I think that's very possible. My little swift dodge of AJ's challenge and beating out AJ. But Adam Paulson wants to drive and shoot, but it doesn't go in. But it does get to Scott Surrey, who also doesn't get it in. I believe Scott tried to throw it through the hoop that was already felled, which I do not believe that you can do. Um, we have new beaters on. We have uh, James King Nickel and Gemma Wallacecroft for Olympians. Uh, James had a lovely beat on AJ. The ball has been passed over to Ash in the top right corner of the pitch. They're going to look to cut around Mammoth's chases and try and make a space. Keeping hold of the ball but has let go of it. It's unclear who has it now, but an Olympians player has been dismounted. The ball is still in play and it's back with Scott from Mammoth's. Keeper's ball, no one can touch it. James King Nickel with a lovely deflect. And at the end of that, Olympians still have. Con oh, I spoke too soon! Mammoths have dodgeball control. 
although it might be coming back. Sam Blackshaw bringing the ball up to Scott Suri and straight in the hoop. Scott Suri, oh, no good, no good. The ball went in, but he was clearly not allowed it for some other reason that I did not see. Scott Suri is turning out to be a very, very talented star player over here. Very, very present on pitch. An excellent addition to Mammoths. Oh yeah, Scott is Warwick alumni. Yes. Oh, good beat of fight. Nice shot up from Charlotte. The Pete gets the ball, but oh, Mammoth's defense is just clean. They're just on it. Mammoth's are shutting this down, but a goal has gone in. So it is now one all um, between the two teams. Simon Blackshaw with the volleyball and Olympians with dodgeball control. Lewis Dixon, big Lewis Dixon has the ball. Very formidable player in my experience, very difficult to move. And they go for it anywhere, they're trying, lovely beats. It goes to Josh Cooper, he shoots it and it hits over the hoop and does not go in. Sometimes I feel like in that situation you need to just take the ball further and put mm. your hand through the hoop. Mm -hmm. I can understand wanting to like get rid of it, but yeah, hand through the hoop in that instance, because I think, I think he could have gone further forward. I think he could have gone for it. Oh, he's hurt himself. That's unfortunate. So Olympians injury sub for Josh Cooper. We are now seeing big Ollie Barker on the pitch. Five minutes in. The game is five minutes in currently. And we're just waiting for play to resume after an injury stoppage. There is, um, it looks like that Olympians oh, just can pull no dodgeballs in this situation. Just a the general only, warning to the Mammoths. Dodgeball is on the ground. Number two, so none disengage of the as soon as you're off route. Yeah. This is a very good opportunity to make some kind of, although the volleyball is with Mammoths Chasers. I believe that is Abby Whitewell and Fran Morris. I, I'd be doing the wonderful, the wonderful job of turtling the ball while Sam Instone tries to be a menace in the corner. Pete accepting defeat and coming away without getting beat. Knows when to call it quits, that's fair enough. So Mammoths are coming back down with the ball. Again, they don't have dodgeball control, but they can still certainly make some work. Oh, Fran Morris has the hands on the ball. The ball has been sent over and has gone off bounds, but there's still plenty of work going on with the beaters. Um, Mammoths still holding on to one dodgeball. Haven't really been able to break through Olympians control at the minute as it stands. And Ollie Barker is bringing the ball up pitch. We have new beaters on. Uh, this is for Olympians. This is James Gratton and Liz Powlett. And there's some uh, like good attempts at defense, but Climo is very nimble. Climo is very nimble and is still on that ball, but the Mammoths are on him. You're not going to get away with everything around them, that's for sure. Fran Morris coming down pitch, getting set up and ready. Uh, Sam Instone doing bits uh, and trying to get like control back, which they, they do. They get dodgeball control. There's work going on over with the volleyball at the hoops. It's just being passed over a lot. We're trying to see if there's an option. Fran tries to go for the ball. Is not successful that time but I'm sure Fran will have the revenge. So, 
for the first run in quite a few Olympians are going into this without dodgeball control. So we'll see how they handle this. Especially because some of the beasts are very, like some of the beating style of Mammoth is very like hard and aggressive. The ball has gone into the hoop and that is a goal for Olympians, I think. I, there is a brooms down that's been called. Maybe it's 2-1, maybe it's not. I suppose we won't know until the rest make their decision. You may have it be, but that's an AR decision, so. I, I saw the boot, I saw the come off, but that was a uh, separate thing. Um, yeah, um, but, um, Lewis, um, um, so that, so that's how cool here. Um, yeah. oh, sorry, sorry. Oh. So, Yes. Your name, um, yeah, the, um, the looks like someone is being criticised about behind. something. So I'm giving you, I am giving you a yellow card because that is called up. They are because they. I'll go tell the table. You're saying. Ah. Yeah. A yellow card for a helpless receiver. Or it might be high contact. Oh uh, yeah, it will be. Oh, okay. <laughs> So it's a yellow yellow card for number 31, Wainwright, for high contact, we think. Um, it looks like, because due to the goal, the substitution, like um, having to go out and come back in was negated. Because as we know, when you get a card, you serve one minute in the penalty box or until the opposing team scores a goal. So Mammoth still have uh, the dodgeball. They're doing a napalm-ish, but Dan is defending that ball pretty closely. Sam Wainwright is taking that ball all around to the far left at the top of the pitch, trying to run circles around Barker. I don't know if they'll succeed. Lewis with a big jump. Oh, and he's fallen down. There was a collision in midair. Two of them bashed into each other. It's just unavoidable sometimes. That is a massive goal. Just gone straight down, lovely passing in between. Amazing technique, lovely goal, and it's currently 3-1 to Olympians. And uh, Olympians are still without dodgeball control by the looks of things. Yes, that is true. They are without dodgeball control, and our Ogara is challenging Seb Lower. Uh, Fran Morris with the ball, passing off to Seb again. Trying to make something happen here. And it looks like something might. Oh, unfortunately, Nadine couldn't make that make it happen quite as they wanted it to. But there could be a chance here. Oli Barker on a big drive now. Big contact from Scott Suri. And the goal... The goal might go, might not be good. It might be good, it might not be good. It's unfortunate. Huge contact on Ali Barker then. This guy is so strong. Very strong. It's been too long since I've seen quad ball players covered in mud stains. I have to say. So, as it currently stands, assuming that that goal over there is good, which it probably is, the score is 4-1. Um, the uh, Olympians have gone back into their sub box to recuperate while there is an injury that is being assessed for a mammoth chaser. Not you, not you. Um, yeah. Can I have a time check, please? Ah, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder what's going. I wonder what each team would be talking about. What's going well? What's not going well? Like what? What's not going well for Mammoths? Do you think? Is there? Thank you. Um, <clears throat> you can also pass on the question if you're not sure. I might pass. I mean, Olympians need to get control. Is the issue they're having? No. Yeah. Well, I mean, Olympians are currently ahead. They ha did lose control. Um. They did lose control. They had it for a while and then they've lost it. They've struggled to get it back. Um, 
so yeah if they got it back it would be a lot easier for them but honestly it's great to see them still work it without the control because it's an advantage but it's not everything <laughs> Right, so it looks like we're going to be resuming the game very soon. Um, and check of lineups. Matter for Mammoths, we've got Nadine, uh, Fran, Morris, Adam Paulson, Scott Surrey, uh, and Tom Andreo. Um, and Dan Holmes over there. Wait a second, there's another Mammoths beater somewhere, surely. Oh wait, no, it's Tom. Tom's in the black headband. There we go. That's it. And for Olympians, we've got Anna O'Gara, Milo, Ben Freeman, Jess Shipley, Hugh, and Oik Barker. Big strong lineup from both teams. So Scott Sir is looping around the back to the far left. Probably looking to receive a really nice pass and just put it in. He's very, very good at that. It would appear from this match. Mammoth's thinking about where they want to put this volleyball and I'm driving it forward and it goes in and I think that was due to a deflection from an Olympian's chaser. So the score is now 4-2 to Olympians. <coughs> Got Dylan, Dylan Jones is on pitch right now. Olympians working hard to get control. Um, didn't quite work. Dylan is still going for it though. Um, loses the ball, unfortunately. It gets put over the back line of the pitch. It's going to be inbounding mammoths. So Dylan may want to consider going home now. Not home, home, but go, go back, back, back to his own half at least. <laughs> That'd be a bit harsh, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right. What have we got here? We've got Mammoths with uh, dodgeball control still, and they're going to do a napalm. Sam Claxton charging through, barreling through, while the volleyball goes by the hoops. Field napalm, but the ball is still with Mammoths. Scott Surrey passing it over. Fred Morris receiving the ball, but unfortunately getting taken down pretty fast by Dylan Jones. Dylan will do that. Dylan is quick. The ball, volleyball is with Hugh Phipps, and Hugh is bringing it up to halfway up the field. Um, and Olympians actually came away with uh, dodgeball control from that. They made it, they managed it. They had a few stints of trying a few different things and they managed to come away with it. Persistence is key in these situations. <clears throat> Pass over to Anton. Anton passes it back to Hugh. Mammoth still staying closely to these Olympians um, attackers. Doing a very good job. Fan Morris dies on it. A wonderful turtle. An absolutely wonderful turtle. Protecting that ball at all costs. Like a mother hen. <laughs> we love to see it. Fran is now subbing off. What an absolute warrior. A timeout has been called by Mammoths. So they will do that. And we will be back, I guess, with more fun anecdotes about the game <laughs> both, both teams are looking like Mara's looking pretty chipper about it mm -hmm. a bit of silence from Olympians but to be honest I think that just happens in team models <laughs> I can't lie this is certainly a very exciting game isn't it 4-2 mm. it's going to be close it is definitely going to be close definitely going to be close <laughs> Uh, no. Let's have a look at what we other games are going on around. Um, Olympia's got a big colour climb, though. Rebel, Rebels versus Phoenix has just finished. Yeah. Uh, I imagine Phoenix won that. Uh, uh, 23 for one. 23 for one. Okay. 23 to one to Phoenix, just checking on other games. Um, is there a game that's about to happen up there? It's just finished. Raptors versus Warlocks just finished. So if you have a look at it, Raptors, that's why I'm showing off the Raptors. Your camera's only live. Raptors, that's good. Yes, actually, it's like over 10. Max feeding. Oh, I love that. Jeez. 
Right. We are uh, okay. We're back. We're going to be returning uh, back to this game. Um, we have yeah, mammoths have. Uh, like I said before, they do not have dodgeball control anymore. Um, the volleyball is with uh, Scott Suri. Taking it pretty chill. Amanda Newman on pitch. Going up pitch with Nad the Lad on the back of the jersey. Otherwise known as Nadine Matal. Mat Mat um, so Mama's doing a lot of work with the one dodgeball that they have, trying a few different things, a press being called by Olympians, balls being passed around as much as possible with the Mammoth players, but it does get recovered by Anton, which who then passes it to Hugh. And then Hugh starts on a medium speed drive, passes it over, but does oh it does get to Dylan, but Dylan is beat, unfortunately. That is that tight defending that we've been seeing from Mammoths all game. Uh, Olympians uh, still with dodgeball control. Mammoths bringing the uh, volleyball past the halfway line. Anton having a nice mark on the. Uh, volleyball carrier tried with Scott Surrey but it's just too fast and walks past uh, runs past even Adam Paulson tried for a shot but unfortunately it did not get in Ash it recovers the ball and starts bringing it back up pitch again Olympians beaters are storming up pitch with dodgeball control while Mammoth beaters are struggling at the back they did just kick a, a hoop over with um, the dodgeball I think they should sign them up to the Premier League. <laughs> All right. So a similar thing happening again um, with Mama's Peters trying to do as much as he can. And oh, Lewis Dixon just sent the ball straight through the centre hoop and it's rolled all the way off pitch. What a lovely shot. An amazing shot. Olympians weren't expecting that. I wonder if they weren't expecting the shooting arm on Mammoths. But now they are definitely aware of it, now that the score is 4-3. All right, so Zach McDonald caused some disruption and that is another goal for Olympians. Gemma Wolskoff wrapped up with Rachel Exact. And unfortunately, there is no budgers on the Olympian side. Mammoths are storming through. They need to make a hit or cover the passing options because they, oh, Ash, Ash has intercepted that with Pete's help by marking out Abby Whitewell. And Olympians hold the volleyball, but they did lose dodgeball control. So we're gonna see exactly what they try and do. Say the volleyball is safe for now. And Lewis Dixon has been beat out, but that was a big tackle, a monster tackle from Lewis Dixon. And Ash drives it through, puts it, tries to put it through a hoop, but it doesn't quite get there. But the ball is not quite recovered on the boundary. So that will be a mammoth's inbounding ball, I believe. Oh, maybe a correction before this. Oh, wait. No, not a correction. The um, score is currently 5 3 to Olympians. Very, very tight game, and I wonder if it will stay this close as we get closer to Flag Runner coming on pitch. Uh, Liz gets beat out by Mammoth Beater, and the Mammoth Beater's completely disrupt what's going on for Olympians at the minute. Lewis Dixon stiff arming Anna Ogara, passing it off, and they're going to try and make this work, but Fran Morris is tackled to the ground. Lewis couldn't avoid a beat from Zach McDonald, but Abby Whitewell still has the ball and is looking to make a move. Abby's storming through 
takes it into the top left, pass it off to Simon Blackshaw, and back to Lewis Dixon and his big old shooting arm. He passes it back to Abby Whitewell, but oh, unfortunately, Abby tried to get on the ball, but it just didn't quite, it didn't quite get there. Chaos happening in the beta area with lots of dodgeballs being traded, lots of things happening, and a lovely passing game between Pete and Ashraf scores Olympians another goal. The score is now 6-3. Mamas bringing the volleyball back up into Olympians half again for another attack without dodgeball control. They're really sitting deep with the ball here. They've got two players up at the top being joined by a third player as well. Back to Lewis Dixon. They're almost doing like a kite position. The ball has unfortunately rolled off pitch though. So that will be an Olympians ball and there may not be much chance to counter attack here. So they may just need to take it a little bit slowly and dissect the situation before deciding how they're going to attack. Josh Cooper has come back on pitch and we can see the flag runner warming up. So we know it's getting towards a time when that matters. Another shot and that was no good, no goal. Volleyball back with Mammoths, um, without control, Olympians still have control. Oh, they might have just lost it though. Never mind, never mind. James King Nicholas has an answer for Sam Instone and that is the ball in his hands. There's no goal called on that. A big hit on Adam Paulson by Hugh Phipps. Adam Paulson is beat and there's a brooms down and I'm very concerned that this may be a card for Hugh. Uh, and now it's to you, Andy. I, I, no. Matt, Matt, come here. Purely based on him being sent back yeah, to Google before for the contact, straight after the contact. Yeah, okay. Yeah. There is a... Uh, no, it's not a Quite a crowd uh, of people watching this game. Um, it was a tackle from people from are from interested in how it's going. Uh, How's it going for you? I'm having a lovely time. Uh, this is a great game to watch. I knew it was going to be close. There you go. Okay. So, uh, yeah. uh, uh, right. no, uh, I guess we'll see how close it will be. Just yeah, as yeah. a reminder for the score, the score is 6-3 yeah. to Olympians. The ball is with Lewis Dixon. And I believe, yep, Hugh Phipps has been sent to the penalty box for a back contact card, which is a yellow card. So Olympians with one player down, how are they going to manage this attack from Mammoths now, is the question. Because this is going to be difficult. Especially with you being such a, like, a good defensive hitter. Very much a plausible answer to Lewis Dixon. Lewis Dixon comes down with the ball. Passing options are set up. It's mainly Nadine and Lewis currently forward. Lewis is passable off to Nadine, but Nadine might have been beat. Yeah, Nadine was beat, unfortunately. So the volleyball goes back to Olympians who do not have control. Um, so their attacks might be a little bit difficult. King Nickel trying to cause some disruption, but doesn't manage to wrestle it off Sam Instone. Sam Instone was too quick for him this time. Sam Instone coming in. This from the equation. The Volleyball has been sent over the top of Mammoth who and it is back with Mammoth. Go on Freeman! Pass off Scott Surrey, Man of on pitch. Scott Surrey is running down, just gunning it down pitch, trying to look for those options. We've got Nadine on the hoops with Amanda set up to her side and Sam Claxton is down deep behind the hoops as well. Intercepted by Anna O'Gara. AOG MVP the crowd chants. The Olympians crowd, the one behind us isn't chanting. Oh, 
So we've got Ollie Barker with the ball coming down. The flag runner is on pitch, which means we are roughly around about the 20 minute mark. Olympians do not have control, so they are going to struggle to bubble here. Go on, Barker! Volleyball back with um, Scott Suri on Mammoths. A lot of uh, wild things going on. Uh, Olympians have just won control back um, after beating out Sam Instone. Scott is looking for something to do here and passes it off to Sam Claxton, who then passes it back. One has to wonder if they're just trying to assess the situation slightly. I'm going, Connor Climo, lovely Go dodge on, on a beater, and both seekers come barreling at the flag runner. Pete holds on to the ball, isn't it in the keeper zone, pass it off to Anna O'Gara, who then goes to score a goal. Scores a goal to make the score 8-3 to Olympians. Flag runner pursuit is still hot. Connor Climo just beat out by Mama's beaters, and Mikey Anzel comes back for another goal. Lots of fast hands, very fast movements. Climo trying to come in, but is not being let in by those beaters. They say, no, you're not allowed here. Big contact from Jess Shipley to take down Sam Claxton. Big contact from Ollie Barker. Huge contact from Olympians at the minute. They do not want these mammoths to have that chance with the ball. And another goal for Olympians. This is nine. 9-3 to Olympians currently. A dive from Sam Wainwright was not fruitful and Sam did not come away for with the flag. James Gratton now seeking for Olympians. Mammoth with the volleyball coming down looking for some kind of opportunity here. Trying to contend with the beaters being in their face as well. They are using one beater to cover the flag runner, our Olympians, and the other beater on the uh, volleyball um, offense and defense. Mammoth just scored another goal, making it 9-4 to Olympians. Grant still going for it. Anton being rightfully celebrated. What a wonderful player. Always a joy seeing them play. Wainwright still going at it at the same time as Climo. This is going to be difficult. Oh! Flag runner tripped up. Not grand. Anyway, beat out on Pete. Tight contest with the volleyball, but ends up in Mouse Keeper's hands. And they are going. They are going. Scott Surrey is zooming. And it pops it off to Simon Blackshaw. Unfortunately, Blackshaw drops the ball. Milo dealing with AJ. So it is a brooms down, and I believe it is an injury stoppage. Not right. Injury stoppage for Mammoths. <laughs> so they are it appears they're not swapping a player out perhaps the injury wasn't serious enough all <laughs> oh, right maybe they weren't bruised down in for injury then never mind then it's going to be all right. Will Milo, will Milo or AJ get the ball? My money is maybe on Milo. Yes, Milo. There we go. Zach McDonald coming in to help their partner. Beat a partner. <laughs> that is. Climo coming in on the flag runner, trying to make something happen. While Olympians are passing this ball around all around Mammoth's hoops to try and score something. Climo's still going for it. 
That goal is good for Olympians, so this makes the score 10 4. Climbo being followed by Mikey Anzo, he just boshes them out of the way. Doesn't even need to do that. Going back for another one. B is going to come and help out with Mikey. Milo gets a lovely beat on Mikey Anzo. And Scott Surrey has brought the volleyball back up into Olympians half and is again trying to find something to do with it. There's some option, but they've got Fran Morris, Nadine as a passing option. Simon Blackshaw coming in to help out as well. Scott trying to command them where they go. Sam Wainwright has some time alone with the flag runner. And Gran is coming in to join him. No more time alone, I'm afraid. Blackshaw tries to make a cut, gets the ball, and scores the goal! With brooms down for a stoppage. If that goal is called good, then the score will be 10-5. There was an injury stoppage for Mammoth's uh, Mammoth Seeker. See ya. You don't see it. Oh, shit. Huh? Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm trying to find that out. Thank you. Yeah, the no be before then. Okay. All right. In that case. All right. I'm just gonna say that now. Yeah. So the uh, game. Yep. Goal is good! The goal was goal good, so the yes, score is now 10-5 to Olympians. Goal is good, goal is good. Olympians will take the volleyball at the brooms up. And in terms of the dodgeball situation, it looks like nothing, nothing, fine. mammoths have control. <laughs> which will give them a significant advantage. I imagine one of them will be barreling towards Gran right now to... Uh, get him out. They want to give Ansel as much time alone with the snitch as humanly possible. Grattan cutting in front of Mikey and trying to get that catch. There's a worry, a risk of the snitch being impeded with all these players around. Charlotte Cox with the ball. Coming into Cratton almost had that. And again, just rapid. Dylan John scored a lovely goal. So close. For that catch. It was a lovely goal by Dylan. Dylan tries to make the hit, but unfortunately Scott, so he does come away with the ball. The flag runner play is still hot going on at the minute. And James Grattan is trying to seek, and it seems to be swapping off in uh, for Ashraf. And Sam Claxton comes away with a very, a very pretty clean-looking catch. I can't lie. So the current, the current score is 11-6. So if this is called good, the score will be 11-9 with a set score of 140. Olympians will have three goals to score in order to win the game, whereas um, Mammoth will have five goals to make. It's definitely all to play for. Yeah, it's definitely all to play for. Yep, okay. Right. Catch is good! Score is now 11 9 to Olympians! Uh, I, think, to uh, honest, I think in that situation, oh, yeah, I think they. Uh, where's my speaking captain? Oh, uh, Mamma speaking captain. On that and yeah. got them out. I, Sorry? I really, I really think that was yeah. a big difference there. Yeah. You want to be able to get it. But not everything works perfectly every single time, and sometimes things happen. <laughs> Mistakes are made, it's fine. Not a game-ending mistake, of course. Oh, the 
this is exciting. It's very exciting. But now that the flag runner is out of the equation, they can put uh, maximum, yeah. maximum effort Everything into their ball. game. Everything is in the volleyball now, indeed. <laughs> and I know Olympians are hungry for this. General Wollescroft coming in, claiming immunity for Bludger. They need to get some control back because Scott Surrey is coming, storming down pitch. There aren't enough Olympians players at home. And scores the goal. The score is now 11-10 to Olympians. Four goals less, left for Mammoths, three goals left for Olympians. Who's going on? Who's on pitch? Go on, you! There's Dodge. Dodgeball control is with Mammoths. Big Hugh Phipps is on. Jess Shipley was beat out pretty uh, pretty harshly. Dylan Jones with the ball, looking to make some space. Pass off to Hugh. Unfortunately, Hugh is beat out. But that was a nice pass by Dylan. Dylan looking to make a high up hit. Try and slow down Scott's momentum now. Scott is coming off, so maybe they'll give Olympians a nice little break. <laughs> Oh, Lewis Dixon is on. They need to watch out for his big shooting arm. Oh, okay. yeah. oh, that was a that was a fake a fake handoff then. Lewis launches it towards Hoops, but it goes straight to Olympians. And Dylan looks to maybe run, gets wrapped up with um, who is who is uh, who is he wrapped up with? Nice and ready, he's nice and ready. Meredith, maybe? Um, we've got the ball coming over the hoops. Jess Shipley tries to make a shot. It misses, but it goes into the hands of Ash. And it does not go in. And Ash is beat out. And the volleyball is with Lewis Dixon. And is there enough Olympians players home to stop Lewis's charge? The massive stop. You heard that. You felt the ground shake. The pass goes over, it's no good for Maris. Score is still 11-10. This was a earth-shattering hit from Hugh, an absolute earth-shattering hit. I felt like Godzilla walking around in Works Up College. That's what it felt like. Olympians come away from this with dodgeball control. And they're sending that ball around. They, they're they trying to take their time here and be patient because they don't want to screw it up. Because they know that the minute that they screw up, Mammoths are going to exploit that. And they're going to make them regret it. Fips in for the hit. Oh, Olympians go. Lovely pass from Ash and a finish from Hugh. Are there enough Olympians players home to stop Lewis Dixon though? Yes, there are. A fumble pass recovered by Ada Ogara. Ash is defending that ball <laughs> with his entire body. <laughs> his entire body is defending that ball and it was success successful. Liz came in and helped clear them out afterwards. The score is 12-10. Two more goals for Olympians and three, uh, four more goals for Mammoths. This is ev this is everything. This is everything. It all come it all, it's all coming down to this. <laughs> There's so much excitement for Olympians first game of the day. <laughs> Cox looking to make a play here. Gets wrapped up by Dixon and uh, loses the ball. Oh, is it tries Pete tries to recover it and gets beat. Louis um, Olympians players have come back to their hoops. Ball is being walked up by Lewis Dixon. Nice and slowly. They've got Fran Morris setting up a, an offensive position along with Abby Whitewell. Come on, more people. AJ not letting Liz have that ball very easily. <laughs> Claxton moving around, they're forming a kite formation with Lewis Dixon at the bottom. I'm 
It's a lovely setup. There's lots of space to pass this off. And the ball goes in. Mammoths score a goal. It is 12 11. <laughs> Mammoth beat is challenging for that um, dodgeball control, but aren't really fruitful. <laughs> and Olympians are thinking, they're thinking really hard. They're starting to napalm and it hits the hoop and goes back in the hands of Lewis. But again, they need to come back and they need to reset up because if they do not have their defense airtight, Mammoth will exploit that and they are good at picking the holes out. Lewis sends Sam Claxton up to the top of the pitch and the ball has gone somewhere. Where is the ball gone? It has rolled off pitch. It is in a bunch of people's kit bags. Inbounded by Cox and Pete has the ball and they're going to bring the Anton fan base is wearing. Anton on pitch! <laughs> oh, hear those feet! I am so pleased that the audience knows every single time Anton is on pitch. <laughs> Olympians still having to think about what they want to do here. B is still trying to work, make things work. Sam Clarkson coming in with a massive shove there. Told to get back to Hoots because probably did something illegal. I have no idea. <laughs> it's hard to assess from this foot angle. Pete receives it, but gets brought down. Passes it off to Ash. Ash is still making this on. Tom throws it over to return it back to AJ. That goes over the hoop. And another player, Pete, gets taken down. And the ball is being completely encapsulated by Amanda Newman! We love Amanda. We love Amanda. Such a good one. Is holding that ball like a firstborn. That ball, that ball is a baby Annabelle right now. Do you remember those, or are you too young? No, I remember baby oh, Annabelle. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the adverts and everything. I used to have a baby Annabelle. Yeah. I hated it. <laughs> I don't know why my mum got me a baby Annabelle. <laughs> I had one of the ones where the milk disappeared as you flipped the bottle yeah, around. Yeah, I had that one I as never well. understood it. I was like, oh, where's it gone? You're like, where's it gone? <laughs> So, not sure what's going on over it. I think a foul is being assessed. Um, the ref seemed to think that Mammoth did something to foul the uh, Olympians players. If they did, in fact, foul a player, this could mean a huge thing. This is a huge occurrence because this makes one player disappear from the equation and the likelihood of them being able to just put it in or pass it off to someone else who can then put it in is pretty high. No call, no call, never mind. It's not It's not going to be easy for them. The ball is back with Mammoth. Amanda's keeping such a good job of it. Like, absolutely caring for that ball, nurturing it. Mikey Anzel is on pitch. Uh, on pitch with Scott, Suri, Am uh, Amanda's still here, Nadine, and who else? I don't know who else. Mike Hans is coming in. Backwards pass. Anton's still running. Kind of gets fouled into. Pete's ball. Lovely deflect. And it is in their hands. That is a bit of a foul. And when I say a bit of a foul, that is a... Yeah, it's a foul. That was smacked out of Pete's hands when Pete was a protected keeper. And I think I'd be a bit miffed as well. I would be a bit miffed if that were me. Lupin's getting ready. Pete is subbing off and coming on for uh, being replaced by Hugh Phipps. Coops is bringing the ball down, but needs to needs to take a great care here because the careless shooting isn't going to work here. But Jess slides onto the ball and recovers it very like not recovers it, but fights for it very nicely. 
Ball is back. Jess is um, on her way, uh, way back home. And we've got... This is a tight game, everyone. This is this is a close game. The score is 12-11. I don't even know what the time is. I don't even know what the time is. Rachel, 32 minutes we've come up to. 32 minutes. There is only about 30 minutes of official game time left. Mama's beat is coming in trying to do bits. Can't get dodge control. Scott Surrey comes in, misses the ball, bundles it, sends it over, and now the ball will be inbounded by Olympians. <laughs> Coops has the ball, calling. Oh, he's going to come off and swap for someone else soon. He's clearly tired. Everyone in this game is tired. Everyone in this game will be tired. It's been going on for a while. Coops is having to think about what to do. Pass it to Anton. Anton pass it back to Cooper. Can Hugh be an option here? Hugh could be an option. And Hugh receives the ball. Sarkers it round to Charlotte. Charlotte comes in and forces the ball through the hoop. 13-11, one more goal to Olymp for Olympians. <laughs> The crowd is going wild. <laughs> the excitement is very high right now. Mammoth is still in the game, but it's going to be harder. And Scott Surrey has a lovely pop off. And the goal is scored by Meredith Whiting, I believe. And um, a counter-attack is picked up by Scott Surrey again. Scott is, is pausing. Scott is pausing. Charlotte's going for Scott. Where are their beaters to hell? Hugh slams Scott to the ground. Goes in for another hit. And he's ab Scott is absolutely decimated. By a double attack. That was intense. That was that was that was a hard. Scott fought very very hard for that. Oh, Scott fought so hard for that. Well done, to Scott. So that was two big consecutive balls from Hugh Phipps and then a dodgeball as well. So, as I, and we're still I, wanting to go. You can see it. You can yeah. see yeah. it in his eyes. Still yeah, to but. Um, they let go and they didn't make. Yeah. Um, no, they did. They did take a couple of steps. Well, that wasn't the relation. Sure. So what's the situation? Well, well Scott has been replaced by Big I'm Lewis sure Dixon. I don't think. I went back in. That sounds like no. That's I. That's a yeah. two steps at least. Yeah. Oh, I, didn't have a, I didn't have a good play. This is the thing, I don't know if it was or not. Yeah. 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 I'm calling, I'm calling. Oh, no, go, no, call. no, no, I'm calling no call. This is too much for me to watch. This is, this is hard. No call. Um, the couple is with number 30. Olympians number 30. You <laughs> Phipps had a conversation with the ref, but nothing, nothing bad happened, which is good. He could not do with another yellow card, not in this pivotal moment of the game. Everything is riding on this, there is no call. It's 13 12. What is Olympians going to do? One more goal. One more. Oh, and they flounder it. A little bit, but Oli Barker recovers it and sends it back to Hugh Phipps. They need to take great care here. Lewis Dixon is coming charging down pitch, stopped by Cox, passes to Fran Morris. Fran Morris is caught in the in the dodgeballs. Oli Barker runs it down pitch. It's a wrap up. There was a wrap up. There was a dodgeball to the face at some point. I don't know when. I don't know who. I just know it happened. This was, this was, 
this was diff that was a difficult drive. So much passion in the offense and the defense of both teams. Balls with Mikey Anzel and Abby Whitewell is going around the top left with Nadine mirroring, mirroring her on the top right. Sam Instone lost the bludger off pitch temporarily, but he's back. He's back to cause more chaos. To get rid of Ali Barker and stop that drive. To Mikey Anzel. Mikey Anzel is trying to storm through, you can tell. Shoots it and misses it. The ball is very far off pitch. And one benefit from throwing it that hard, that it goes that far off pitch, is that, well, oh, maybe there isn't a benefit. Maybe it's illegal. Who knows? <laughs> I swear there is, there is a card for intentional. Ready! But I don't think that was intentional. Oh. Mammoths have got time to set up their defence here, though, which is nice when the ball goes absolutely zooming. Instone is high pressing onto Pete oh Olympians are having a wonderful time here but Lou Dixon intercepts that ball and Oli Barker takes him off the pitch Lewis got up like nothing had happened <laughs> In, Lu in Lewis Dixon's eyes, nothing happened. It, it, it was simply just a fleeting moment in time. <laughs> the ball is back with Ollie Barker because the tackle, the contact was legal, took Lewis off the pitch, and it's now Olympian's ball. So the question is, what are they going to do? The beaters need to come up because those, because Instone is pressuring very hard. I think Anna Ogara is going to run to hoops. Yeah. The ball is back on the half line. They're going to look to go in now. Oh. Olympians need to come back now and reset again. Sam Instone is subbing off um, for AJ. Mammoths are coming here and they want they want this. You can tell that they want this. And Ogara putting in some hassle. Louis Dixon offloading to Abby Whitewell. Abby Whitewell loses the ball unfortunately and it goes to Pete. In the safe hands of Pete. Pete is having a think. Mikey Anzel is nothing to Pete apparently. It just bypasses Mikey completely. Same with Jess Shipley. Mikey Anzel who is what Jess Shipley says. <laughs> Pete's thinking about how to get around Lewis. Not an easy task. Jess having to think as well. Into the hands of Ollie. Jess gets ran over. Ollie just misses. A very small amount. Ball is with Lewis Dixon. Come on, one more go! And Olympians are keeping, they are keeping this up very well. Grattan is trying to defend Liz. They, Mammoth tried a big long pass, but unfortunately it went far over. Had that been received, that would have been beautiful. It would have been beautiful. As you can tell, Anton is indeed back on pitch. And the ball is with Pete. We've got Ollie Barker on the right, Anton on the left, and Cox supporting Pete as a reset option. Anton's trying to set a pick, which is good. Pete passes off to Ollie Barker in the top right of the pitch. Ollie makes a solid pass, a solid pass, but it's a bit low, and it goes into the hands of Adam Paulson. All the beaters are taken out, except for Zach, who wasn't beat properly. And Mama score another goal, and it's 13 all. Except they're behaving like it's not, and now I'm scared. No goal! No goal! 
Okay, sorry. That is, that is not natural. The goal is no good and it's still 13-12. Okay. Yeah. 41 minutes. I'm getting... Crazy. No. That's actually crazy. Sorry. What are we going to... What? Are you alright? Yeah. I'm I'm not sure. <laughs> no, no goal. No goal. Sorry, I'll, I'll pass, I'll pass the after the beat. Got the goal squad to chase in up. this community. Yeah. Are we ready? Clearly the crowd, sweetheart. <laughs> the people's royalty. Black Heart Die. <laughs> Ah, Anton. <laughs> Four minutes left. Four minutes left of game time. Someone needs to get this moving, otherwise they're just going to run out. Oh, my God, I go in. It, the ball went in. It went in. If the goal is called good, the Olympians take this win. The refs are gathering, deliberating. What do you think? Well, okay. I think it looked good to me as well. Whatever result of this game, both teams. Are you 33? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. All right, Jenna's going. Everything's good. Um, there is a. And that's it. The goal is called good. Olympians clutch that win against Mammoth. What a game. What a bloody game. And I was so honoured to be able to watch this in full and deliver the commentary as well and we've had we've uh, we've had izzy as well oh, I've had a wonderful time yeah I'm izzy's had a wonderful time i've had a wonderful time and the crowd sounds like they had a wonderful <laughs> time as well so now that's lunchtime. yeah lunchtime i believe <laughs> that's it for this slot thank you for tuning in folks it's always very appreciated i've been chloe durkin oh, i've been izzy brown there we go have a good one tune in later for more quad ball action i don't know if it'll get more exciting than that though <laughs> that was amazing <laughs>